South Africa has once again made medical history. Doctors in Stellenbosch performed the world's first successful penis transplant. Inquiries from all over the world have prompted the following statement from the Office of the Public Protector. Ms. Madunsela, you have, um... Gosh, we are thrilled with the success of this treatment and were asked to step in to facilitate the procurement of suitable donors. The medical fraternity has very special guidelines in terms of the donations of these male organs. Uh, you mean the penis? Yes, Deborah. The male member must be a very specific length and have sufficient girth for the doctors to um, work with. It's all completely scientific. So basically, the penis needs to be a decent size? Yes. The member must be substantial in size in order to be of maximum benefit to the recipient. This diagram has been posted online with the exact measurements of the male members required. You asking men to measure themselves before signing up? Of course, officials will be made available to assist with organ assessments should the need arise. Can you even say the word penis? Of course. The male member. No, come on, just say it. Just say penis. Male sex organ. Penis. It's not a hard word. <laughs> Pun intended. Nice work. The doctors will not be accepting donations of male members that are mm, insubstantial. You heard it from the public protector, folks. It's official. Size does matter. Penis. Cock, ding dong, dick, and other words for it. One-eyed snake, your wife's best friend. Mamba, snot shambok, fool.